the next question that is uh, question 97 reads as follows you have a capacitor of 2 microfarad like you can see here this is connected to a voltage source a switch is there and finally this switch will be shifted to 0.2 and there it is connected to 8 microfarad capacitor so it says that a capacitor of 2 microfarad is charged as shown in the diagram it has been charged by potential V when the switch S is turned to position 2 then what will happen whatever energy is stored in 2 microfarad that will be shared between these two capacitors now in this process some energy loss will be there so they are asking the percentage of the stored energy dissipated that means what is loss so straight away use the formula of loss that is half C1 C2 upon C1 plus C2 into V1 minus V2 whole square like V1 is uh, the potential of one capacitor like in the beginning the energy will be stored here what is V1 V1 is V and what is V2 V2 is 0 because it was uncharged so here V here 0 C1 C2 is 2 into 8 upon 2 plus 8 this was the energy dissipated upon upon the initial energy initial energy is stored only in this capacitor half into C1 V square right so for C1 if you substitute this 2 and for C2 if you substitute 8 directly you will be getting the value 0.8 so for that matter 80 percent loss that will be the correct answer for question 97 now let us look at next question that is question 98 now this is the question in which you will be using little bit of calculus to der uh, derive the correct answer here it says that a particle moves so that its position vector is given by this is the position vector given this is x cap y cap you can treat it like i cap and j cap it is in the form of cos omega t and sin omega t where omega is a constant now which of the following is true in the option you can see they are talking about the velocity and acceleration so it is very much imperative that if you differentiate like r vector has been given as cos omega t x cap plus sin omega t y cap isn't it now what you can do you simply differentiate to get the velocity if you do that you will be getting cos omega t is minus omega sin omega t x cap plus sin omega t differentiated it will be omega cos omega t y cap so now if you see the dot product of these two you will be getting zero that means the position and velocity they are perpendicular to each other isn't it and if you differentiate this velocity again then you will be getting acceleration it will be simply minus omega square a cos omega t x cap and this is uh, minus omega square sin omega t y cap so you can clearly see from this expression of acceleration that it is nothing but minus omega square r vector so here I can say that acceleration is proportional to r and directed towards the origin also because opposite to r is the acceleration. So if you search the answer this is the answer 4 which is the most appropriate for that this is velocity is perpendicular to r and acceleration is directed towards the origin. So I will be marking answer 4 for this question 98. Now let us look at next question that is question 99. Now this uh, question 99 is based on calculation of moment of inertia. It says that from a disc of radius r and mass m, so imagine that you have a disc of say mass m and radius r, a circular hole of diameter r whose rim passes through the center is cut. That means from here you have cut another disc, diameter has been given to be r. So here you see this radius is r and this radius will be r by 2 so very much obvious thing is that the mass which has been cut out will be simply m by 4 so the remaining disc is something like this you understand this is the remaining disc you have this has been cut out and the axis is passing through the center and perpendicular to the plane of the disc so you have to find out the moment of inertia of the remaining part of the disc about a perpendicular axis passing through the center as i said so very much obvious that in the beginning you had the moment of inertia mr square by 2 isn't it out of which you have to subtract 
the moment of inertia of the disc which has been cut out. So tell me how much will be. You see, parallel axis theorem will have to be applied. First you calculate the moment of inertia of the remaining disc about this centro mass. It will be m by 4 into r by 2 whole square divided by 2. This was the moment of inertia of the disc cut out about the centro mass. Now you shift it here. So that means plus of m by 4 into how much distance has been shifted r by 2 mh square which you say so r by 2 whole square now this much part of the disc is to be removed so if you do the calculation you see if you do the calculation you will find that the correct answer is coming out to be 13 mr square upon 32 so the correct answer for this question will be answer 3 now let us look at next question that is question 100 Now this is the question which is involving the expression of escape velocity. You have to find out the ratio. Ratio of escape velocity at earth to escape velocity at some other planet. And the data in terms of ratio are given in terms of radius and mean density. So the expression of escape velocity is to be molded in a direction in which density and radius is there in the expression. You understand? So you have to start using the expression for escape speed as under root 2 gm by r but instead of mass it has to be replaced by density so if i do that i can write it as under root 2 g density into 4 by 3 pi r q upon r so ultimately you will find that the escape velocity is becoming proportional to r and under root of density Understand? Now it says that uh, you have to find out the value at some other planet whose radius as well as mean density has been doubled. So this has been doubled and this has been doubled. So 2 root 2 that will be the ratio. So for that matter you will find that the option number 3 is the correct option for question 100. Now let us look at next question that is question 101. 